What's going on, believers? Saitama holders, 16 of the last 18 hour candles have been green. That would indicate that we are starting to move to the upside. That's a good sentiment. Uh, there was a long red one yesterday because every time Russ speaks, <laughs> The market seems to bleed for just a little while, but after that little correction, the market has started to move up. We're at 1880 right about now. Um, that's a little better than it was the last 24 hours, even the last 48 hours. This is not financial advice. Guys, if you like the content, please hit the subscribe button, smash that like button down below, and leave a comment. That helps me trend, and that helps other people see the content. You want new investors? That's the way you make it happen, is by making sure that this content gets seen by everybody. And this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. All right, guys, here you see it. The last 16 of 18 candles have been green, and there's this big red candle. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but this is when Russ has an AMA, and he starts to talk about stuff. Because here's what happened yesterday. We had the AMA, and Russ said, hey, guys, we are ready. The swap is ready. But, oh, yeah, it's not launched yet. So, uh yeah, that's going to be in the next, uh, and then it went kind of, mm, when is it going to be? Now, a lot of people, uh, yesterday I was on the sandstorm, a lot of people were saying, well, it's going to be a day or two, it's going to be, uh, at some point, we're going to have this thing launched. What I heard, however, was... Um, just for, to reiterate for you guys that are just now coming on, or maybe missed the beginning, um, so the, any kind of issues and mitigations that we put are in place. Uh, the update is now live, so everybody should be able to get on your iOS or your Google Android update the latest version. But Max and his team run some final checks, and then we're going to initiate the swap function. Um, and we'll give you guys a heads up. Like, we're just, we're just going to make it live, and then we'll put out a press release or something or a, a community announcement saying, hey, the, the swap function's live. Go ahead, and if you wanted to go ahead and you know initiate trades or swaps, you can do that. So the one thing that I did not hear was one or two days. What I heard was Max was going to do his final checks, and then we were just going to get it out there. That's going to include these other tokens are starting to do their buybacks. Now, there's one other piece of interesting information, and that was the BitMart buyback. And the answer to that, I think, was that this BitMart buyback that everybody says, well, it never happened. One of the things that was said originally when this was all going on way back in what we call the day was, and it was right about, when was Rec 30? That was December. Let's go back here and let's look at that move right here. So uh, I think that all of this stuff was happening back here in December. And then this right here, I believe, was the move from Bitmark doing their buyback. So I think that it's already been done. So I don't know uh, what he's talking about or what he was mentioning in his litigation thing, because one of the things that he also said when it was convenient and when there was not hype involved, and remember, the, the one thing that I don't appreciate and I don't like is when Russ overhyped something because there's I, I don't want anything to ever feel like oversold, underdelivered, and what he said was they won't be able to tell us about the buyback. They won't be able to do anything and make, make any comments because they don't want to let you know because they don't want you to invest and then uh, that drives up the price and that allows people to manipulate the system. So now he's in legal proceedings with the company who didn't want to tell him because they didn't want to manipulate the system. So now we're in legal proceedings because he doesn't know whether they have manipulated the system. I, I guess, I don't know. If they if they did it fairly and they bought it in when that big candle happened, then that just answered the problem and that just answered the question right there. Maybe they weren't telling. Maybe they didn't think it was anybody's business. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm as speculative as he is in this regard, but I saw a big level of buy happening at a specific time, and that specific time coincided... And by the way, I might have had that candle wrong when I was looking at that chart because I think it was like three or four days after the BitMart hack that we started to see the buyback because then all of a sudden we started to see, uh, uh, what do you call it, Saitama was being traded again over there. So I think that that was it. So let's move on. 
All right, guys, so here's the question. Is Saitama back? The answer to that is a resounding and utter... It's not. Not yet. Uh, Cytomask still has to work. We still have to see the swap. We still have to see the swap populated with a lot of tokens. There's going to be a few tokens at the launch. Uh, there was a lot of indication, and I got the sense that they were going to be rushing some new tokens once they've got the process in place, by the way. When I say rush, I don't mean rush as in get it out before it's ready. I mean that it will be ready and they will uh, get new ones paired up pretty immediately and start to get this thing rolling out. So, is Saitama back? No, it's trading at 1888 right now. That's up just a little bit on the previous day. Not enough for us to say that it's back. Now, I expect resistance. I expect resistance all the way. I expect the majority of the resistance to be around the 3000 level. So we're going to see what the American market does when it opens up today. Now, if the swap is functioning and people are starting to trade and you start to see some buys that are coming in and populating, that's going to be the greatest thing that you could possibly see. And that's going to start sending us to that next level. Again, a lot of resistance in the 3000 levels. There's going to be a lot of resistance everywhere, in fairness, because there are a lot of Chad bro, Chad bros that are uh, going to Chad Bro sell because Chad Bros do what Chad Bros do. Uh, that sell-off yesterday uh, was basically when, again, r when Russ speaks, the market tanks and it does because over-promise, under-deliver. What happened yesterday? We had the Cytomask is ready to go, uh, but it's not launched, by the way. The swap's not going. We, we don't have it yet. Now you have a cascade of sell-off because these guys, just for whatever reason, do not know how to do this thing right. So... That's where we are, but we'll move to the positive. Now, the, the problem comes in when we get to Dubai in a month, but we'll deal with that one a little bit later, and we will see how that goes and what they can bring to the table then. Guys, it's not financial advice. Take your profits. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Don't stare at the charts all day. It's not healthy for you. Go out and get some sun. Uh, live your life. And remember one thing. I'm always right. The good life, good life. Sitting on top of the world, I wanna be shining.